it just gives me um, more time just to be creative and not look for stuff. So it's like I have it all laid out. So you see all my glitter. I'm big into string and yarn. I have this whole series called String Theory. So I use all our string. I did this kind of for fun as just an accessory to my skull work that I do. And I found that people liked these way more. Um, they just thought it was just fun and simple, you know, glitter bags. Glitter pills. Okay. I thought it was kind of kitschy and fun. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> How do you use glitter pills? Well, they bring happiness and they make your poo glittery, so <laughs> that's the plus side. Oh, you actually um, eat them? Well, you can. I haven't tried it, but you're welcome to. <laughs> Take two and call me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I find the empty space more interesting than the actual piece itself. So I kept playing around with that, and um, this is a smaller version, but if you go to the art store gallery, I have a huge one called Peekaboo, and all the sides are really broken up where you can see it more. And um, I'm just translating them into smaller ones. So my, grad my grad school teacher, uh, Gary Stephan, told me that the fragmented edges or the most interest was the most interesting part of my work, and so I really respect him and the fact that he got it. You know, after it just came to me one night, um, it just encouraged me to continue doing it. I just like to sit on the floor, and my husband like he hates it. He like gets on me for it. He's like, your posture, your posture, you work on your posture. But um, my mom, I think has influenced me in a lot of ways because she always cooks on the floor and a lot of old Korean women cook on the floor <laughs> like make kimchi and so I think like when I have all these materials out it's like my ingredients I'm making my own not food but my own um, my art kind of like the way she made food growing up you know I like to feel my materials just like my mom likes to feel her food and a lot of there's a saying in Korea that you don't, like, it tastes better when your hands are touching it. You don't want to put on gloves. And um, it just tastes better, I guess, because you're putting a lot in there. And I just love to touch my materials. Some days I won't even make anything. I'll just come here and play around with my materials. And it just kind of comes together. I know it sounds silly. <laughs> like, I'm a big kid at heart. I think I'll always be a big kid.